Hey guys, it's Thursday. It's Goodwill Day. Dollar Day at Goodwill. I think the green tag is a dollar. So it's kind of late in the day, but I'm going to go check it out. So wish me luck, guys. See you when I get there. Bye. Hello. How you guys doing today? Just came back from thrifting. Yeah, as you guys see. I went thrifting, it's Thursday. It's Dollar Day at Goodwill for a particular tag. And today was green tags. Oh, sorry guys. Welcome, my bad. Welcome, welcome. If you're new here, welcome. If you're my favorite person and my fabulous person, welcome again and thank you. And if you just be curious, Let's see what this girl is doing over here today we went thrifting it's all about bougie on a budget so we don't break the bank we're not spending a lot of coins for clothing or bags no 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 we're going to thrift these items and we're going to be looking fabulous so today was dollar day so i went out on avengers i'm like i need to spend a dollar on everything I find. Yeah, 80% of it was a dollar. The other 20%, I couldn't resist. It was 25% off, which was still good, but it is what it is. So, let's start. I don't even know where I want to start, guys. I don't know where I want to start. Look at that. One bag. Needless to say, for a dollar, I'm like, huh, why not? Yeah. And there's another bag, so I'm not even gonna bore you guys. So let's start with I'm I'm, I'm a little bit conflicted because I don't know what I want to start with. Alright, let's start with this bag over here. So the first thing I picked for a dollar was this um Eddie Bauer cable knit sweater. You see that Eddie Bauer right there? I got this out of the men's department, or was it? No, I got this in the women's department. Sorry, yeah, kind of like a, a fake mark neck, but it's Eddie Bauer. I love the heaviness, so it was green tag one dollar for Eddie Bauer. I'm cool, yes. So there was that. The next item for found for a dollar is this genuine leather razzle. Good quality leather jacket. This is gonna go on Poshmark because this is like a double X. But it was a dollar, so why was I gonna pass it? It's genuine leather. Yeah, you guys see that? One dollar. Green tag lambskin soft so yeah this is an extra large and this will be oh my posh mark and then the next one from the women's department i found this um i think i need to like steam this cynthia raleigh jacket it's like half suede half cable knit with that little fur, fur fur on the side. It's missing, it's missing the belts, but it's okay. It's beautiful, it's Cynthia Raleigh. I'm not gonna style it, it's, it's just what it is. One dollar. So you guys, I was like, this gotta be a dollar day. The next one, I found this at for you, it says for you. I don't know what brand that is, but for a dollar, it was looking good. It's lamb's wool. Lam I say lamb's wool. Lamb wool. 100% very soft. For a minute, I thought it was cashmere. It says for you. Nice v-neck. You can wear like a nice... Sh I don't know if I can do a shirt. It's just a v-neck sweater v-neck gray sweater i think i got this at the men's department or did i 
I forgot. But it was a dollar. Fall is coming. We need some sweaters. Yeah. So, could go on Poshmark. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Another one we found for a dollar. I'm, as I'm rushing through this, it's round, round tree and yucky. Button down. And you guys know I love my men's shirt. This is definitely for me. I can wear this with jeans. This is a, a 2X. I mean, I like my shirts to be like really long because. Okay, Jackie. I like my shirts to be really long because I kind of wear them as a duster. So let me try that shirt so you all get to see. Sorry, guys. I'm like way over here. Okay. And as we are crooked. So, yeah. Let me try this shirt. So, you guys. I'm not going to style this. Maybe with something. One of my blazers. I might wear the shirt with it. So, I will wear that. Either I wear it this way. Or I wear it this way. Yeah. Nice and comfortable, guys. For one dollar, green tag. I'm gonna style this in so many ways. I love my shirts to kind of, I like it to be long, so it looks like I'm wearing a dress. But I can do some shorts underneath this. As you see, I have this culottes on. So, or jumper, however you want to call it. I could um, literally, and there's a jacket here. So let me just put a jacket over it. I'm just like styling this for no reason. This is a Hugo Boss jacket, men's, as you guys know. So if I was to wear this, I will button it down or I will tie it. And I like my shirts to leak on the bottom. So even though the reason this is not leaking because the jacket is it's a double breasted, it's extremely big. But if I was to wear it with something that's not so long, you get to see. You guys get the idea. You guys get the idea of what I'm talking about? Yeah. So yeah, this was one dollar, guys. One dollar. Nice, nice, nice shirt. Okay, so let's get back to the haul. It's not, we're not trying on stuff, but I just wanted to show you guys the shirt as I put back my, my yellow jacket that I thrifted from, I think from Port de Valley a while ago. All right, so I'm back and I'm crooked. All right, so next item for a dollar is this suit. The suit was one dollar. Even the guy that was ringing me up go like, "Oh wow, you made out." I'm like, yeah. I'm like, did I? And I didn't even want to go. I was like, oh, it's Thursday. I gotta go to Goodwill. So this suit here. I actually found it's by it's by T Glow. I don't even know who that is. Look like an Italian maid. You guys see that? So yeah. It was in the Halloween section and I just like Phew, I'm getting this. So this suit, here's the jacket. Definitely men's checkered. Here's the pants, which I think will be too big, but I can have it taken in. Or I could pull it all the way up my belly. So this was um, tagged for originally I hope at um, Goodwill it was twenty four ninety nine, but being that today was green tag, 
I paid one dollar for this suit, guys. One dollar. It says a size large. I don't know. I don't know how this is going to fit. I'm looking at the pants, <clears throat> and it looks like it's going to be big. So, oh, wait a minute now. It was three-piece. I just realized something fell off. There was a vest. No wonder the guy was like, wow, one dollar for this? I was like, yeah. I didn't even know it was a three-piece. All right. So, to me, that's a bonus buy. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. So, let's put this vest on. I so said I wasn't going to do a try on, but I'm a little bit psyched. Yes, I am. Kind of big, but it has an adjustable thing back right there where you can singe it and make it tighter. Let me tie it. Let's just tie it a little bit. So, you guys know I'm going to wear this with like a men's shirt. So, the armhole is so big. But, um, okay, I'm trying to tie it. My nails are not letting me be great. Okay, so... If I put a man shirt over this, this will be everything. Do I feel like doing that right now? No, not really. That will be another haul as I'm fumbling to button the damn thing. Excuse my French, guys. Excuse me. My nails are just like not making me be great. Come on. Yeah. So, anyway, being that that was so hard, I'm just going to button that top button. Let's try this jacket. Please let it not be too big. I know I'm going for the oversized look, but I don't want it to be like, we're oversized. But it is. That is cool, though. It needs to be steamed. One dollar for a three-piece. <laughs> main suit now this is where the problem is gonna lie i'm gonna have to have this taken in this is gonna be huge but who's to say can i try this on let me see i'm gonna move away from my bed i'm just gonna try to put it on over my my jumper my culottes and you have to see how big this is. But I, I'm just like, I'm gonna have this taken in, that's for sure. Well, damn. It's big, but it's not that big. I thought it was gonna be like really big, really big, big. For one dollar, we are going to style this in a different way. Not what I'm doing right now. I just wanna see how it fits. But, guys, look at that. One dollar uh, Italian suit for one dollar, and I have my still have my killers on. Let me step on my slippers because now I'm on, on flats. Guys, don't mind the fact that it's ex extremely wrinkled, but. How nice is this for one dollar? One dollar. I can begin to tell you, I paid one dollar for this suit. I can do a photo shoot. I have my Mark Jacob, Mark by Mark Jacob tote. <laughs> one dollar, guys. Yes, one dollar. So I'm trying to tell you, there's no need to pay retail. Just thrift it. One dollar? Where are you gonna find this at four dollars? Not at no Nostrum's anniversary sale. Not at no last chance or last call. I mean, come on. One dollar for an Italian suit. One dollar. Needs to be steamed, guys. So yeah. No wonder when he he rung me up, he goes like a dollar? I was like, yeah. Waiting for more. At the Halloween section. That's where this came from. The Halloween. I just something just told me to look over there because 
I mean, it was just in my face. And I saw this checkered thing just popping out. I'm like, wait a minute, wait a minute, let me go look. And then when I saw green tag, I mean, I would have bought it even if it wasn't one dollar. Tell you the truth. If it was just, I won't pay $24 for it, that's for sure, because you guys know I'm cheap. But I would have bought it when it was 50% off. Like if I had gone yesterday to Goodwill and I found this for green tag 50% off, I would have bought it, which it could have cost me, what, 12 bucks. But being that today was a dollar day, I had self-restraint. I'm like, nope, I'm not going to Goodwill. I'm going to go to Hope of the Valley because they were having their sale yesterday. So I'm like, I'm going to hold out because Goodwill is all a day for green tags. So yeah, that's what made my day. If I didn't find anything else that you guys think is cute, that suit was everything. Okay? Everything, everything. So I'm trying to move away because I have like stuff everywhere. Anywho, so I always like to put my bag here so you see how I was rocking today. That's what I carry. All right. The next item for a dollar was... Who makes this? This um, jeans. It's like Joe's. Joe's jeans. Yeah. Green tag. One dollar. This will fit me, I think. Because it has a little bit of stretch to it. It's a waist. It's 29. Oh, yeah. It will fit me. Definitely. I love the fact that the, the bottom is unfinished. I like that. It's a little bit on the skinny side. I'm trying to stay away from skinny jeans, but I don't know. I have a lot of Joe's jeans. This might just end up in my collection because I love the way they fit me. They fit me good. Something else I found for one dollar is this. This is definitely going. It's Hillary Ragley, New York, 1X. Definitely going on my Poshmark. It's a... Um, like a big outer short pea coat. I don't know if it's a pea coat, I should call it. But yeah, look at it. It's heavy. It's huge. And it's lined very well. The lining is the lining is everything. So this had to be like really expensive because at Goodwill it was it was tagged for oh no only $9.99 it was tagged for $9.99 and I pay one dollar but it's a it's a huge coat but like I say it's going to go to Poshmark somebody's going to you know I haven't I've only posted like a whole lot of bags on Poshmark I haven't really been able to do that much clothing because clothing to me is like you got to give the measurement here, the armpit length, this length. I'm like, ah, oh, who has time for that? If I say it's extra large and you're extra large, just know it's going to fit you. Why are you asking me for all these measurements? I'm not a tailor. It's like I didn't make it. It's like, gosh, my people can be so annoying. What's the measurement? What is this? What is that? I'm like, girl, just buy it. If you don't want to buy it, then move on. Move on to the next. But anyway, yeah. I don't know what I did here. I kind of did some crazy way of buttoning it. I don't know what I did. But Hillary Bradley. Oh, I wonder. I kind of did one side longer. But anyway, yeah. You guys get the idea. It's more like a house tooth. You can't see it, but it's a house tooth. Black. Kind of house tooth style with a full leg it has like the parachute fabric like even if you get caught up in the rain you'll be good and then the inside is like oh you could take off the lining no wonder it's so heavy there's a lining in there that you can remove look at that you can take it out and if it gets cold you can put it back and it's one dollar 
I found this for one dollar, one dollar. So as we mosey along, I'm not gonna do the bags for now. Those thin weights. There's still more. Oh, yes, this I found in the men's department. I don't know if my son would like this, but if not, maybe I can wear it. Usually I don't like, I mean, people say, oh, I don't thrift st stuff at Zara at the thrift store, but if you find it for a dollar or four dollars, why wouldn't you pick it up? I mean, it's fast fashion, but it's still Zara. So this is a Zara. It says Zara man. Must be a really skinny man. What size is this thing? There's a size on there. Size medium. Ah, my son ain't gonna wear this. It's gonna be too tight. So it was one dollar, and he has the elasticized back. And so yeah, I will wear this easily. It has the button. I can wear this to one of my blazers and call it a day. And the button is like a snap. For a man, okay. And then we have the two pockets. It's like some kind of spandex C fabric. Yeah, green tag, one dollar. Yep, yep, yep. We getting there. We getting there. Okay. And the next thing for a dollar, I told you guys I went dollar shopping. I'm like, concentrate, Jackie. I saw some cute things. But they were yellow tag, red tag, fourteen ninety nine. I was like, no, mm -mm, we're gonna wait. We're gonna wait until it goes on sale. This um, polo, it's not Ralph Lauren. It's just like a little golf shirt, Calvin Klein. Nice little golf shirt. This my son can definitely wear. Yeah. And what size is this? Yeah, extra large. He will wear this. Definitely. One dollar green tag. Green tag, green tag. Okay. Another stuff I found. Another Zara man. Always in the men's department. That's when I find all the goodies. I love this. This is too small for my son. So I can wear this with some jeans and call it a day. Zara man, $1. I love the pattern on here. I love the little woven. I can carry this is one of my Bottega Italian kind of looking bag. And yeah, because it's like the basket weave. Did I tell you guys it was a dollar? Did I tell you? Yes, it was a dollar. It was a dollar. And then there is this um, Gap shirt. Why I picked this shirt, I don't even know. Maybe I just love the fact that it was denim and it had some some kind of flowers with it. I mean, I think my son can wear this. I don't know. We'll see. He's gonna he'll be like, okay. Yeah, he will. As long as I tell him it's cool, he's gonna wear it. And this too. My husband might have something to say because he has butterflies. One dollar. Like, what you buying him flower shirts for? But he's he, <laughs> my god i tell you my man is so old school my son is very secure with himself so he will wear it as long as the mama tell him so he will then my husband like why are you making him wear those kind of shoes because they're stylish that's why all right so this is a men's blazer from robinson may well damn that, that went way back evan picon I don't even know why I picked that. I know why I picked it up. It was one dollar. Yes. Casual. Casual men's jacket. One dollar. How does this fit? You know, I didn't try this. I'm not I'm, that jacket is not gonna be styled, so but let me just try it on. Take off my shoes because I'm looking mighty tall. Let's try that. Evan Picone men's jacket for a dollar okay it's already looking good i'm seeing my silhouette and i'm already liking it if i tell you guys i can open a men's store as compared to how many men's blazers i own 
don't know when I'm gonna wear it all. But the good thing about these things, they don't, they're not fast fashion. They're not gonna go out of style. So what I don't wear this fall, I can wear it next year. So, and how much did I pay? One dollar. Is that an investment? Is that what you all call an investment? That's what most people will say. Ah, oh, this cost is an investment. Please. It's just one dollar. It wasn't an investment. I was just lucky. I love the fact that it doesn't have any slit in the back. Yes, ever be gone? Who knew? Who knew? If this was regular price, it was priced for $19.99. It, it said suits, but the pants were missing. And I asked, if I find the pants, is this still a dollar? And I was told yes. But guess what, guys? I went through, so they had a pant hanger. Somebody decided to take the pants. Either they bought the pants. According to the girl was telling me they couldn't have bought the pants because they would have told them it's part of a suit. So my thing is, I think somebody just stole the pants and said, I don't need the jacket. I just need the pants. So, ah, yeah. So that was that. One dollar. Another one dollar item. Two from the men's department. This two was a suit. But it had the jacket. It had the suit hanger hanging on there. See what it says. This two was, ugh. This was $29 men's suit. That's how much Goodwill was selling it for. But I paid one dollar. But could not find could not find the pants and this is by yeah Perialis. for one dollar i'm okay with it don't know why they were selling it for thirty dollars why i don't know it's Perialis. Perialis has been around forever and it's not it's like a mediocre brand yeah this fits me good wish i found the pants as i just believe oh no my light went up guys this light, I'm trying to tell you, is doing strange things. Light is hot. All right, let's see if it'll come back on. Yes. All right, we're back in business. So yeah, $1 for this too. It was $29, $30, and I paid $1. Go figure. It has a slit in the back. I love that. I can wear this now before it gets cold because... As you see, it's like a little pinstripe, and it's more like um, like a cotton. It's not wool. More like a cotton fabric. Love that. One dollar, one dollar, one dollar. Yes. Yeah, so, I think that's it for the clothing. Now let's go to. Let's go see the handbags. So now I didn't. I don't. I think I only got maybe. Is it one or two handbags that were a dollar? Yeah, well, let's do the bag. So, I got this bag by, what's this name again? I looked at it, name. I had to, I had to research it. And now, I can't even find it. It's by, um, uh, oh, Rodo, Italy. I think that's what it says. Rodo. Italy. Made in Italy, guys. Genuine leather. Beautiful bag. I love the canvas. It's canvas, but it has like a little bit of crest right here. And it's a hobo bag. And this too was priced for $14.99. But being that it was green tag, green tag, $1 for an Italian bag. Yes. $1 dollar nice italian bag i love 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 this bag one dollar all right coming through coming through coming through coming through what else do i have for one dollar that's not a dollar that's not a dollar so guys i think oh i think that's the only bag i got for a dollar yeah, that's the only bag I got for a dollar, but then I found this Michael Kors patent leather. 
white bag and this was 25 off what is this Michael Kors in there somewhere and this too was 11.99 so it came up to like eight dollars for Michael Kors bag it has a little bit of I mean it's been pre-loved it looked like it was stored in the heat because I can see a little bit of the leather, the pattern in it is like a little bit squiggly, squibbly, squibbly, but the handle is nice. The inside is clean. Like, of course, guys, yeah, $8. And then there was this, um, let's just go through these bags. And this one. Uh, wait a minute. This is fossil. But is this from Goodwill though? Or did I just mistakenly pick this up? Yeah, it was $9. It was from Goodwill. But it wasn't on sale. I just paid $9 on it. It says, um, it says key keeper. And then it has the fossil key right there. And yeah, keeper. So I guess this is a keeper. Beautiful. Beautiful. It has the outside snap. And then we have the zipper in the back. Yeah, this was $9. No sale. Another fossil. No, this is... Is this fossil? Wait a minute, wait a minute. No, this is El 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 Elliot Looker. So, yeah. Beautiful leather. It's too shiny. Elliot Looker bag. And this one was... $14.99. Still good. I didn't get any discount out of this. So I didn't care. This was not bought today. This was bought, I believe, on the on Veterans Day, Monday. So I think I got 10% off. Yeah. I remember that. And then there was this one. Because I think the only bag I bought today was the dollar one that I showed you. And this one was $9.99. It's another fossil monogram. Beautiful. It has a fossil key. It's like the new key. Not the old vintage ones. This is still new. They got the FFs. That, then the inside looks like that. You got that compartment. Then you have that. Then you have that. This is so cute. Just need to clean the bottom up a little bit. It's pre-loved, but it's not that loved because it's still in very, very good condition. Yeah, this one was just $9, guys. $9. No discount. Oh, 10% off, I'm sorry. And then this one is the Patrick Cox. I don't know if you guys know Patrick. Patrick Cox make good, beautiful leather bags. Beautiful hobo kind of woven metallic gold it has all the gold grommets in the front i love when i work retail i used to love patrick cox bags and then it has this little um logo patrick cox um bags all have that logo and on the inside you see where it says patrick cox right there beautiful bag and this one was 11.99 25 percent off so nice another eight dollar bag yes eight dollars eight dollars okay so we already did this one so oh and then there was this i got this today it was it was just 25 percent off too and this i love the reason i got this because i just love the way it looks i have a lot of franco saddle by, uh, shoes so when i saw this embossed crook by franco saddle i'm like why not nice oh there goes the light again guys let's fix the lights all right why is my light getting dark but yeah yeah franco saddle let's see we're waiting let's wait let's cool it off let's cool it off let's cool it off i think i know what it is i was charging my camera and it's, it's draining it so Hopefully, we'll go through this with no problem. So, yay, back. So, yeah. The Franco Saddle bag was $11.99. 20, 
25% off. So another eight dollar bag by Franco Saddle. I didn't even know Franco Saddle made bags. All I know is that I thought they made shoes, but when I saw this nice bag, I'm like, okay. I wish it was a dollar because I was I was on a dollar, you know, shopping spree as I'm having a hard time trying to zip it. Anywho, I don't want to spend the time, but then it has a little flap here. Magnetic, nice. Emboss crock, and then it has like a little plain vinyl bottom. And the hands are embossed to crock, and it's zipped. Yeah, for $8, why not? Poshmark. All right, so now let's move on to the shoes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dollar, dollar, dollar. What if I can find it? Oh, there, there's the other bit. So, I found this beautiful Zara chunky. I need to clean it. Just got home, so I didn't have time to clean. I had some scuffs right here. But it was a dollar, so who was going to check me? For one dollar, I was going to get the Zara boots. Oh, look at the bottom. Jeez, what did she do? Climb a mountain? I got to clean this. It's Zara, guys. It's like, I don't know if you can see the inside. I want to show you the outside. But it's inside. It says Zara right there. Nice. And the bottom says Zara, but it's, it's nasty on the bottom. But anywho, if you don't mind how nasty it is, there it is. It says Zara right there. It was $1. So all I got to do is wipe it off. I didn't have to go pay for the $9. It's pre-loved. Yes. Another one for one? No. This is not a dollar, so we can leave that behind. This one is a dollar. I don't even know who this is, but I liked it. And it's all genuine leather. It's by Amanda, Amanda Smith. All leather, made in Brazil. Beautiful, beautiful. One dollar. Look at how well this is made. One dollar. Uno dinero. One dollar. Okay. One dollar, guys. For our leather boots. Tell me. I'm not going to be looking fly. Right on a budget. Leather upper. Made in Brazil. And this is by Amanda Smith. And this is called I Want One. I want one. Beautiful. I just love the heel. So it's an eight and a half. I didn't try it on. I'm like, this better fits me. Because for one dollar, I want to be able to rock this boot. Oh, yeah. Easy breezy. That fits so well. Look at it, guys. Beautiful. I love the heel. The heel is what I'm going for. That's the first thing I picked when I walked into the store. Uh, I zoomed straight. I don't know. Usually, I go straight to the handbags. But for some reason today, maybe because there were so many people in the shoe section. So, like, the attraction, I just, like, dragged me over there. I was like, okay. So, last, but not the least, this is all a dollar. So, there's, like, no wow factor. It's just things that... I can wear stuff that I could put on Poshmark, some stuff for my son. So, I, this one, I went to two different Goodwills. One, I spent $30, and the other place I spent $25. And the only reason it came to those amount was because of the bags. Because most of my bags were like $8. So, it took it. Even my husband came in to help me at the first one where I got that suit. When the guy gave me a discount, I mean, a, a total of $16, and he had to carry all this bag, like $16. I was like, yeah, mm -hmm. it's dollar day. It's like, oh, wow. So, okay, this one, Zara, chunky, 
boots. Yeah, it was purple tag. Don't know why this one was so pricey. It was $19.99, 25 off. I tried it on. I was a little bit on the fence because then my cheapness kicked in. And I was like, Jackie, don't be ridiculous. So uh, it's like a navy, kind of like a navy. It's not black. It really isn't. It's like some kind of pine leather navy. And that's why I picked it up because I was like, oh, I have those navy, bravery, uh, you know, sport coat. I have a lot of navy blue sport coat I can wear. I can wear it with this. And it's so easy to put on. I just put my, as long as it was going to fit me, I took it. Look at that. And so this one was, I forgot what it came out to, but it was $19 and then $25 off. It was one of the most expensive buys of the day. I was like, eh, should I, should I not? But I did. So, yeah. Look at that. Cute, 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 cute. So, yes, guys. That's my goodwill hunting, thrifting. I don't know. I kind of took a video, but it was overwhelming. And being that this video is so long, I don't know if I'm going to show you guys how I was in there just swiping, digging. I'm just going to not do that. I'm just going to show you guys how I was heading to Goodwill. I didn't wear this now, so I had on a shirt. <laughs> I was not coming to Goodwill looking like I was going to the office. I just got home, took the shirt off, and said, let me wear this yellow, you know, jacket so you guys get to see the yellow. This high... You know, high looking yellow. You guys, I love yellow on my body, my complexion. So, so yeah, like and subscribe, guys. I hope you love this little show and tell. Goodwill Dollar Day, what I found. I found a lot. I found a lot. I didn't thrift to any luxury. They were all contemporary. Every last one of them. Yeah, yeah. I didn't show you guys no Christian Dior, Hugo Boss. They were... Eh, for a dollar. I'm sure it was picked out because I didn't go to Goodwill until late. And today, I'm just wearing this nice yellow jacket that I thrifted from Hoop of the Valley a while ago. And uh, I didn't realize this. It has these buttons here, but it's missing one button right there. So, but who is to say? I love the way it fits. This is from, from the women's department. Believe you me. You guys know it's hard for me to find jackets in the women's department. But I found this beautiful yellow. And I'm wearing this with my ambience. I've had this little jumper ever since I had my boutique. So, it was, you know, it's hot in California. So, I put a shirt over this. I have my belt. I love this little thing because... It's like so soft. It's not an MC Hammer though, it's just soft belt. Yeah. And on my feet, I'm wearing this little John and David. Sleep is because today I just wanted to be natural, comfortable. And my Mark by Mark Jacob tote is what I went thrifting with. Yeah. And reason being, I don't, I didn't carry a wallet on the chain or a wallet on that because I had to stop somewhere and I needed this bag. So when I went, I didn't put this in the shopping cart. Like you guys say, I do not. I didn't take a shopping cart because I don't think I needed to. And my hands were looking crazy as usual. But this was on my shoulder all through. All through. So like and subscribe, guys. I hope you enjoyed this haul. I'll see you guys. We made another milestone, guys. Yes, we did. Yes, I'm liking what you guys are doing. You guys are loving, loving. Oh, on my lips today, I'm wearing the um, Super Stay lipstick by Maybelline Matte. Let me tell you, this lipstick will not come up for nothing. I wore it yesterday. I just got this from um, CVS Pharmacy. And I ate. My lipstick is still intact. Last night, I had to just use my makeup wipes to like literally wipe my mouth because 
this lipstick wasn't going anywhere. When they say super stay, they mean it. It's nine dollars, but it's worth every penny. Okay, it's not one of those department store brands. It's just good old Maybelline. Like I tell you guys, Maybelline. I like Maybelline. Even the powder is a super stay by Maybelline. I just love Ma Maybelline. That's just like my to go. I've been wearing Maybelline. I used to do the Fit Me foundation, but for some reason they've changed the colors and now I'm having a hard time. I used to wear like maybe a 350, but then I went and got a 355 and then I figured it was too dark. And then I'm like in between. So I just decided to get a super stay. Super stay and then the, I got the foundation and the powder. Just put the foundation here on my T-zone, do my blush, and then just use the powder to take away all my shine. As you guys know, I'm always shiny because I moisturize a lot. All right, guys, so good to see you. I need to go fit my face, okay? Thank you, guys. Love, happiness, subscribe, share, comments comments only please thank you thank you thank you thank you and for those of you who are still leaving nasty comments on my on my channel because of my old videos i mean you all need to get a life because i'm not doing those videos anymore so going back there and putting nasty comments on those old videos you're just gonna get blocked so stop it okay because i ain't got time all right this is a happy channel okay i moved on from that i did told you i didn't want to get in trouble so i moved on so and please people don't look at my old videos and keep asking me questions like oh i need this i need that i'm not doing that anymore youtube ain't playing they're not playing so but anywho love you guys bye-bye mm, 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 mm.